We're going to try and make two things with watermelon, both because it's such a great hard outside and a resonant um, quality. The one we're going to do is first of all we're going to try and make an ordinary drum, and then we're going to upturn it and make it into a water drum. So the first thing we need to do is to take out some of the inside. So I'm going to um, cut away sort of not not just in half, a little bit over half, so you've got about two-thirds of the watermelon remaining. So let's just chuck through there. There we go. And that's going to make a really nice um, dessert for somebody later on. Now what I'm going to do, Trevor, is I'm going to start scraping this out here. And this is going to take some time, isn't this it? This is going to take some time. Obviously, if you keep the food, you can actually eat it later on. So if you want to get a dish, and I fancy some watermelon, it's hot in here. There we go. It'll be very refreshing to keep you going. Pass it to the crew in a moment. There we go. If you want it to be bottom heavy, I'm going to leave some extra flesh on the, uh, the, 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 this end, on the rim here. The bit that's nearest you, you're going to leave that? The bit that's uppermost at the moment, so that when it's upside down in the water, that's the heaviest end, and so that's going to keep the watermelon upturned in the water. What now then, Steve? You've hollowed it all out? Just about, just finishing off, going right the way down to the, the hard outer skin, all the way around, which is still quite thick, so still quite resilient. And I'm just emptying out the rest of this into here. We could either stretch something across here, because this lovely resonant body is starting to or we could stretch something across here and we could use it as a drum again and of course what we've got is this lovely resonant body with its own pitches can you hear the pitches there that's even without the stre skin stretched across it. So now let's get some water and float it in some water. Have you got some, Trevor? Yes, I have. A ve very incongruous water washing up bowl is all I had, but okay. there we go. Of course, if this is a proper water drum, what we'd have is a great big calabash or a great big gourd to put this into, but a, a plastic washing up bowl would do it instead. Now, do you remember what I said about leaving the flesh on the bottom? That means that when it's floating in the water, it's actually not going to turn over very easily. So now I ought to be able to um, have a, create a different noise because now, of course, there's more involved. The water's now involved in the whole drum. Actually, I think I quite like to hollow it out a little bit more because now it's in the water, I think it needs to be slightly thinner on the top. I'm going to make a sort of stirring percussion instrument. So I've got some monkey nuts here. I'm going to ground nuts. I'm going to pour these in here, and um, and then use anything really. This carrot will do. Now I'm going to fill it with water. Drill out the carrot using a narrower drill bit. I think this one's about one millimeter in diameter. 
I've come out the sides, but it doesn't really matter because it's quite a difficult thing to cut round down the whole thing. So there's the tube. Now, here we go.